a um som bom é, depende de a good sound fatores, depends on a number of factors the most important is that the signals we pick up need to be high quality broadcasters like us who deal with live performances need to be able to provide a good sound the performance has to be good of course the instruments need to sound good we need top-notch microphones and a good signal in most instances good sound is a combination of a number of factors the console obviously plays an important part in the signal chain I'm Marcelo Freitas and I've been working at EPA since 2009 the EPA team likes to think of itself as a bridge. We quite literally connect the artists or the artistic side to the broadcaster in this particular case. Working for a broadcaster is a very rewarding job because each day is different. I learn a lot each day. Being passionate about audio equipment and technology also helps. We are especially interested in consoles with both a superbly musical sound and a flexible feature set that allows us to cater to the requirements regarding signal distribution and so on. Our mobile unit uses the most advanced OB trucks in Brazil. This one is equipped with a Lavo console. Our partnership with Lavo started about four years ago. The MC56 is a highly dynamic console with flexible routing options that allow me to easily transmit the required signals to the right destinations. It's connected to our network and this makes it easy to exchange signals. I like its highly interactive user interface and its logical layout. To me, it has the feeling of an analog desk. Us sound engineers don't consider ourselves technical operators. We work for the music industry and this console assists us with that. We became aware of Lavo in 2014 when we were contacted by the company's Brazilian sales rep. He invited us to fly to Rastatt in Germany to visit the Lavo facility. We jumped at the occasion to attend a one-week hands-on introduction to the consoles. Step by step, we learned about the differences between the various models and what they had in common. We quickly fell in love with the Lavo desks, so much so that by the end of the week we decided to place our first order. I've been working with Lavo gear on an almost daily basis since 2015. The company made us feel welcome right from the start. This created a strong bond. I still remember when we did a broadcast here at Rock in Rio. We had an issue that required immediate attention from Lavo. That incident was an eye-opener. We realized that we'd not just bought a product, but also a service to match its professional quality. It made us realize that Lavo really cares about its users. This is a good example of how a situation created a strong bond between EPA and Lavo. We're working at the cutting edge here and need to meet the expectations of sound engineers from all over the world. Both they and the Brazilian crew are expected to deliver a studio-like sound. Lavo consoles allow us to do just that. I think it's safe to say that once you start working on a Lavo console, you realize it's more than just a broadcast desk, it's a true all-rounder.